Hi, I'm David Lee from Base Boss, and this is the CCM12 Mark III. As you can see, this is a wedge monitor, and this is a CCM being compact coaxial monitor. Behind this grill is a 12 inch woofer with a 1.4 inch throat, three inch voice coil compression driver. The woofer also has a three inch voice coil. The magnet is neodymium. That's a 1200 watt class D amplifier and a 96 kilohertz sampling rate DSP with eight presets. We have a little bit less low frequency content in the even number presets and full range is the odd number presets. Coaxial monitors have an advantage in that they are very stable in their frequency response off axis. So if you're a performer and you move back or move forward or move left or move right. A lot of times if you have a monitor that has a high and low that are adjacent to each other or one above the other, the sound that you get and the frequency responses you get shifts as you move. If it shifts, the engineer is fighting feedback and you're not sure what's happened, what's changed, because all of a sudden, you know, you sound different or the music sounds different. With a coaxial, it's more stable. So it's easier to avoid feedback and it's easier to be comfortable with the consistency of what you hear on stage. What's special about this one is the equalization and the boundary compensation programming. The other thing that's interesting with this box in particular is that it is a sealed monitor. A lot of times with a vented box, you, you get a little overhang, you get a little bit of a undesirable phase shift at the bottom end of that response. And sometimes that can be something you fight with in feedback as well. This sealed box allows us to push a little bit more low end into it if you need it, um, but it doesn't get strange with the phase. It doesn't unload. This position is what we call the standing performer. If I were standing over it, I would be getting the right angle for it to be playing if my microphone stand were just in front of it. And presets one and two are designed for use in this position. They are set up to compensate for the reflections that come off the floor that make it sometimes difficult to fight feedback and so on. So each position has its own pair of presets. When you have a seated performer, you need the box to point a little bit less steep up in the air because the head of the performer is lower. This is the seated performer position. Presets three and four are for this. Three is a full range, four is high passed. Once you get above this position, you are gonna be wanting to put it on a table, you wanna put it on a sub, you wanna use it for a slightly steeper angle. So if that were a table mounted monitor, it'd be perfect for that angle. And another thing that that's good for is to put on a sub, which leads me to this position, which is the direct forward position, which would be something you would use for a main or use for a front fill. You can obviously mount it on a, a stand, on a pole stand, and you can put it above a subwoofer. Uh, and this thing will do quite a lot of work. In, in the uh, preset eight, it's high passed, and it's, it's intended to be run with a sub, and it will give you a remarkable amount of output for a box of this size. Essentially, one of the things we wanna look at here is this input suite. So you have power in and power out, and so you can loop multiple boxes on a chain, a power chain across your stage, uh, simplifying the wiring, because these are very low current draw. So you can put, oh, I, I'd do the math in my head, but I'd say that about 10 of these on a circuit would not be a problem. The Input XLR, the output is a pass-through. So if you want to do multiple mixes, you just do a separate mix to each box. If you're going to chain several boxes on the same mix, you just loop out uh, and direct pass-through. So what it goes in is what goes out. All the processing is built in, so it does everything it needs to do. You could actually put the same mix on two boxes in two different positions with two different presets. Totally, pro no problem, totally fine. They also have the ethernet connectivity, which allows you to do uh, custom presets or do firmware updates uh, and also remote monitoring and remote changes. Uh, that is something that's common to all of the Mark III boxes. And uh, uh, access to that is through our control-based software. Power in and power out for chaining multiple units. So you can put 10 units on a power chain and run your signal to them in any sequence you like. You can use two different presets on the same mix and use 
the loop throughs to chain from a box in this position to another position. And the beauty of that is you don't have to fight with the changes in boundary. You can actually do that and have the same equalization for your microphone, you know, because your, your interaction, your feedback interaction for the microphone will be essentially the same because we, we, we compensate for the position change and what that does to the sound. So it's easier to use the boxes in different presets and not have to fiddle with ringing them out separately as long as you're using the same basically microphone for the various places that you're putting these monitors. Yeah.